Hello everyone, Nat Rory here. Microsoft made an enormous announcement at uh, Inspire 2020. We've been introduced to uh, Microsoft Dataflex. Now, it is, uh, it's not actually strictly speaking new, so I need to kind of guide you through the way to understand this. So in the first instance, uh, we've got this thing called Dataflex Pro. And Dataflex Pro is just a renaming of what used to be called the Common Data Service. First thing to note. And the Common Data Service has, through Dynamics CE, been a product that's actually been around for many, many years. So it is it is an enterprise-grade system. The difference here is that for every single team that you have, you will have a Microsoft, um, a, a Dataflex environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over and just give you a bit of a feel for what an environment actually is. I have on the screen here a, uh, a Canvas app built using the, uh, the Dataflex Pro platform. Um, it is a Canvas app is uh, a kind of what you see is what you get experience. We're actually in the editor here at the moment, but I'm just going to dive through and show you um, that you can have interactions uh, between yourself and the data. We're now looking at some of the entities um, inside this um, inside my environment. So if we want to look at the environment, we can actually look here and we can see that this is a kind of set of courses and so on I'm preparing. So I have a, a course entity, it's linked to the lesson entity, which is listen, well, which is linked to the module, which is linked to the lesson point. Um, but in terms of the Canvas app, I get to, uh, I can just click on uh, an item and my modules filter my lessons and so on. And in fact, it's, it's quite a, for me, it's quite a useful experience. But actually, if I want that model driven experience, I can have that too. So what I can actually do is I can just click on to this getting started thing. And what we'll do is we will shift over to the model driven experience. So it is the same entities. That's the key. It's the same entities. But what it's done is it's this, the delivery here is in much more of a, um, it's more of a customization experience. And the reason I do it is it means that I can have functionality that I could put into my Canvas app, but actually I just find it easier to add lessons and so on in this experience than I do in the um, in the uh, kind of uh, the Canvas experience. But you, what you can see here is that with the Canvas experience, I can now do things that uh, I wouldn't have been able to do in this model driven experience because I can go back there and I can click on something and then I can actually have a kind of a, a quasi sort of um, uh, an experience which is much more like PowerPoint. So I can click through and, and, and everything that you see here is done based on formulas and logic. You always talk about formulas and logic and not about code. So hopefully that is helpful and we will we'll jump back to the main part of the uh, discussion on Dataflex. So this is Dataflex Pro. So what we what we're not sure about is the difference between Dataflex Pro and straight data flex. What we will find though is the method of constructing uh, a data flex um, uh, solution, if you like, will be different and will be more, I'm going to say, sanitized than what you get when you're creating a data flex pro where you've got much more functionality and so on. So we, that's it's a case of watch this space and and watch down below to see if I've got any links and make sure you have a look at the the blog post as well. So we'll move back. So here we are. We are in um, we are in my tenant here, and I'm in Power Apps here because the uh, Dataflex is a part of Power Apps. And the point I want to show you here is that I have many environments. Now, these these are Dataflex Pro environments, but what you will get is every team will have its own environment. 
So the question then comes, like, well, what on earth is an environment? And effectively, an environment is a wrapper for your apps, your flows, and goodness knows uh, how many other things. So, for example, it's here. It's got your entities as well, and it's got your entity structure. It's got loads of out of the box things like things like account and contact um, that you can leverage straight out of the box. Um, it sounds like I'm selling it. I'm kind of it look. It is really really cool. I absolutely love it. Um, so, uh, but the difference here is that because it's coming into Microsoft uh, Teams and it is effectively free at that point, um, you get this ability to use what is uh, an enterprise grade system um, uh, at the, you know, for, for, you know, it's a bit of a, you could argue that it's a bit of a try before you buy sort of thing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you off to um, off to uh, a post that I've done that I would encourage you to, to look through. Um, and so we, we've gone through what is Dataflex, why is this important? Um, well, a lot of that free data sources that we've been using, and we've built a lot of things on top of SharePoint. Now, there are limitations to SharePoint. I'm going to run through those. So it does really struggle with filtering large data sets. Um, it, it struggles with filtering on date, in fact. Um, it isn't, uh, SharePoint isn't relational. Um, there are a limited number of field types. I believe there are some more coming in. The security model is limited. Um, and it is tricky doing development tests and production. Um, and here is a very good point. So if you build something in this Dataflex and you think, oh my gosh, this thing's amazing, what you will then be able to do is you will be able to grow it up to Dataflex Pro. So you could build it inside your team and then grow it up to the next level. And bear in mind, there are these things called solutions, which actually are wrappers for your apps, your flows, your entities, your structures, all those things, like a really cool thing. Um, so um, I'm just going to um, point you through this. So if you want to know what it's like to create an app using, um, this says CDS, but it's only a renaming thing, using Dataflex Pro. This is an hour's demo, and it takes you through building a Canvas app, building all the entities. You also build a model-driven app as well, so it should give you a bit of a feel for, for that, and also ties in Power BI into the experience. So I'm going to keep going down the um, the post here. You all, I can't believe they've done this, but you also get um, Power Virtual Agents as well. Now, Power Virtual Agents is basically bots. It's these kind of Q and A experiences where you can, you know, it is. They are quite cool actually. Um, and now, um, so here's the catch. The catch is. You're limited to a million rows of data and two uh, gigabytes of storage. And the reason why I kind of go on to kind of do a bit of um, uh, sort of demonstrate a Shakespeare demo here is really to say, look, depending on what you do, you can get a lot of information into an app. Now, this particular demo here is every uh, every play by William Shakespeare. Now, um, it's actually only 10 meg. So... Um, you can get an awful lot of things into an app um, if you so choose. Um, so just keeping on with what the catches are, you get one environment per team. So you can't have dev, test and prod, although theoretically maybe you could do, um, you know, a team for dev, a team for test, a team for prod. I don't know. Um, it is new. Let's bear in mind it's new. So I will keep updating um the post here and i'm also i'll also just look down below just in case i've actually got a new video for you to um to use so then we come on to like the why you know i got this you know dataflex why do i upgrade to dataflex pro dataflex pro is proper full-on enterprise grade and that's what you know when you get into that whole um when you get into the whole piece where 
you want to restrict and have complex arrangements about how what the things that people can and can't do with the entities that you and the data that you create that's when dataflex pro really comes into uh, its own and bear in mind you know um the, the dataflex pro is effectively the thing that the likes of coca-cola and you know loads of huge companies you know this this is a system that can cope with millions upon millions of transactions so it is full on um so i just go on to say hey you know look common data service just when you hear common data service, if you see any old, uh, any videos or posts or whatever it is, common data service, now you need to be thinking Dataflex Pro. And the next thing to come on to is, is something um, that is happening around about the same time. And it's this thing called Microsoft Lists. And um, so it's, it's certainly an interesting timing, but essentially Microsoft Lists is SharePoint Lists. I'd almost call it repackaged and sanitized. It is still SharePoint Lists. Um, however, what they've done is they've created, um, they've given like a, they're creating, they're making it as a, you know, kind of like a first line um, uh, uh, Microsoft Office app. So you'll actually see it next to Excel and all those other things. And what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to uh, build, um, you know, productivity lists. Now, do bear in mind that with lists, you would be able to have security options on that that you wouldn't be able to with a team, for example. So, for example, with a, a SharePoint list, you can actually have arrangements where people from outside, I don't know, the team or wherever it's in, um, would be able to access it. Whereas do, rem do remember that, that it is restricted to the team uh, for Dataflex. I believe there is guest access, but I don't know how that works yet. Um, so finding out about more, I will keep this blog up to, uh, up to date. Now do bear in mind, um, just look down below for the link to this post. And, you know, by all means, drop me down feedback, especially if I've got anything wrong here. Please like this. You know, YouTubers like me, we like this sort of thing. So please do um, like it if it, you find it useful. Um, and, um, you know, stay tuned because this, you know, this is just the beginning. It's going to be, you know, this is significant. Um, thank you for watching along. Um, and do remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of anything new down the tracks. Thanks.